A lonely world drifts through the void of space, caught in between the extremes of burning and freezing. For one split second, all is ice, and it remains a winter wasteland. Then in the next, it hurtles towards its sun and is thawed and warmed, only to be burned instantly by searing temperatures. This is HD 20474D, a newly discovered super-Earth that challenges the limits of life. Orbiting a distant star 19.7 light-years away, this stellar enigma doesn't stay in the habitable zone, it moves in and out of it. With an orbit stretched farther than any planet in our solar system, it spends long periods in cold space before heading toward the habitable zone, where temperatures rise, then quickly cool again. Could life exist on such a planet, where extreme climate shifts define its seasons? Or would its changing conditions be too unstable for life to survive? As astronomers gear up to study it with the next generation of telescopes, one thing is for sure, that this planet is challenging all we thought we understood about habitability. Are we going to find life in one of the most extreme environments imaginable? This Earth-like planet was found 19.7 light-years away, orbiting a star known as HD 20794, also called 82 Eridani. The star is slightly less massive and dimmer than the Sun and is visible in the Eridanus constellation. The planet is part of a system with two other super-Earths called HD 20794 b and c, but what sets it apart is its unique orbit. The planet is about 6.6 .6 times the mass of Earth, making it a super-Earth, a term used for planets larger than Earth but smaller than Neptune. This star's orbit is highly eccentric, meaning it's far more stretched than the nearly circular orbits of planets in our solar system. This results in an orbit that ranges from two astronomical units or twice the Earth-Sun distance to as close as 0.75 AU. This is closer than Venus's orbit around the Sun. Such an orbit means the planet dramatically changes its distance from the star, leading to intense shifts in temperature and climate. Seasons on this planet are dictated entirely by its elliptical orbit unlike Earth, where seasons are caused by the tilt of the planet's axis. The planet was first seen using two high-end spectrographs, Espresso and Harps, mounted on the European Southern Observatory's telescopes in Chile. These tools find out the radial velocity of a star or the small wobble it has because of the gravity pull from its moving planets. The bigger the wobble, the heavier the planet. HD 20794D's presence was checked after many years of data study, removing possible mistake sources and showing its real nature. With its odd orbit and size, this newly Earth-like planet is a great option for more studies with new telescopes. Its brightness and closeness make it an appealing target for scientists who want to look at exoplanet atmospheres in better detail. The orbit of this stellar enigma is surprisingly striking for its eccentricity. If you see this object, you'll see that it is unnaturally elongated. Most of the planets in our solar system have fairly circular orbits. For example, the eccentricity of Earth's orbit is just 0.017, which makes it a perfect circle. Mars has a slightly more elongated orbit with an eccentricity of 0.055, and Mercury has the most stretched orbit as 0.206. Now the orbit of HD 20794d takes this to an extreme, with an eccentricity of 0.4. Over the course of its 647-day orbit, the planet swings from a distance of 2 AU, more than twice the distance Earth is from the Sun, down to as close as 0.75 AU, closer than Venus's orbit. This fluctuating distance creates wide variations in the planet's climate and temperature. When this Earth-like planet is farthest from its star, it experiences freezing cold temperatures, far too low for liquid water to exist. If this body moves closer to the star, conditions seem to intensify to roughly the level of Earth, with liquid water capable of existing. This individual phase allows the planet to enter the so-called habitable zone, 
in this case, the area around the star where water could be liquid. The planet does not, however, remain there for long. Within a short time, it moves farther from its star again, leaving the habitable zone and returning to icy conditions. It is the range in temperature that makes this planet one of the most diverse worlds, reaching extremes. The object seems to go through constant climatic changes, from long sub-zero winters to short but brutal summers. The million-dollar question remains whether such a world could harbor life or whether no living creature would be able to withstand such extremes. Temperatures and climate conditions on Earth are nothing compared to what HD 20474D experiences. The object has an odd orbit that makes it swing in and out of the habitable zone. As a result, temperatures in the object vary a lot, creating a world with harsh seasons. But how does this unusual orbit affect its potential to support life? When the object is at 2 AU from the star, it experiences its furthest point in its orbit. During this phase, temperatures reach freezing cold levels that are too low for liquid water to exist. At this point, it resembles the outer icy great voids of our solar system, alas, without any water. However, when this cosmic veil gets within 0.75 AU of its star, closer than Venus, the planet dramatically changes. The temperatures increase sharply, possibly rising to levels where water could become liquid and conditions could briefly resemble those of early Earth. However, this warm period is short-lived. As this Earth-like planet continues its orbit, it quickly moves out of the habitable zone and returns to its icy state. The planet experiences intense seasonal extremes, similar to Earth's summer and winter cycles, but far more exaggerated. Instead of stable seasons lasting several months, HD 20474D's seasons are far more erratic, with long winters followed by brief, intense summers. These extreme temperature shifts could lead to rapid changes in the planet's atmosphere, surface conditions, and possibly its oceans if they exist. The notion of life being able to survive on such a world raises several questions. On Earth, the range of climates has been mastered by life. Nevertheless, the extremes of this world may bring insurmountable difficulties. Would it be possible for life to subsist through long winters, only to be confronted with the abrupt warmth of a short summer? Liquid water is one of the factors that can make a planet habitable. Since the habitable zone is the part where this stellar enigma occasionally goes through and has temperature fluctuations, the water might be able to be in liquid form for just a short time. However, such a period is so brief that it may not be enough for complex life to appear or survive. Scientists are highly interested in the detailed investigation of this super-Earth, and they want to know the characteristics of the atmosphere that enable it to react to the change of temperature. The discovery of this challenges many of our preconceived notions about what makes a planet habitable. When it comes to the search for extraterrestrial life, scientists have been concentrating mainly on planets that are suited in the habitable zone of a star, a range where the temperature is right and suitable for liquid water to exist. This extraterrestrial object, however, moves in and out of the habitable zone as it has a very elliptical orbit, spending most of its time in unlivable, icy conditions and nominally touching the warm zone where liquid water could be possible. This abnormality in the rotation of this Mistara does not align with what is outlined as the prerequisites for living and what it takes to live on other planets. Commonly, how friendly a planet is to sustaining life is correlated with its distance from its star, the composition of its atmosphere, and the way it regulates stable temperatures over long spans. Instead of constant, steady conditions, this planet's extreme temperature swings might offer a unique test case for life in fluctuating environments. Could life adapt to such an erratic planet? Could forms of life evolve that can survive long, harsh winters followed by brief, intense summers? This discovery suggests that habitability might not always depend on a planet staying within a stable, narrow temperature range. Maybe life doesn't need perfect and constant conditions. Rather, it's more likely that they will adjust to the variability of the environment and develop mechanisms that will help them tolerate sudden and extreme changes. 
The extremophiles on Earth, microorganisms adapted to extreme conditions, are the ones who have shown that conditions found in previously unhabitable places, such as very deep oceans and hot springs of Yellowstone, are not an obstacle to life survival. Therefore, it might be the case that inhabitants of this Earth-like planet will evolve the same mechanisms to overcome the changing climatic situations. The discovery also raises important questions about how we define the habitable zone. Traditional models assume that life can only thrive within a narrow band around a star where conditions are just right. This cosmic veil suggests that planets with eccentric orbits might challenge this idea, as their movement in and out of the habitable zone could lead to periods of habitability even in extreme conditions. This could broaden the scope of planets scientists consider in the search for life beyond Earth. Furthermore, studying this lunar enigma could provide insights into how other exoplanets with unusual orbits might support life, or if they might create environments too volatile for any form of life to endure. With advancements in atmospheric studies and the ability to observe exoplanets in more detail, scientists might soon be able to answer the question of whether worlds with eccentric orbits, like HD 20474d, can truly be considered candidates for hosting life. The identification of this Earth-like planet brings us to an initial prospect of exploring further the field of study of the atmospheres and habitability of exoplanets. With technological advances, we are at a time when we can directly observe planets such as HD 20474d, which is a unique opportunity to test the comprehension of the tough weather conditions, as well as the possible life on worlds with exotic orbits. One of the most promising tools for exploring this cosmic veil and other exoplanets that are the same as them is a new generation of space telescopes. Devices similar to the James Webb Space Telescope, which are traditionally used to uncover far-off planets, are now able to know the feasibility of life in even the most extreme environments. The future of exploring exoplanets is bright, and HD 20474d is just the beginning. As we gather more data and develop new technologies, we may one day confirm the presence of life on distant worlds, forever altering our view of what it means to be habitable, getting detailed pictures of the planet's atmospheres, James Webb's detection of the composition of this stellar enigma's atmosphere might even reveal its capability to keep enough warmth to possibly sustain life. Or if its extreme temperature differences are too severe for life to be there. Similarly, this analysis would provide the opportunity to the researchers to discover if the atmospheric conditions, such as greenhouse gases and water vapor, may be the simple ways the planet's climate, extreme, has to be regulated when necessary. The capacity to notice the biosignatures, molecules or elements that indicate the existence of life on planets such as HD 20474d might turn around our bright discoveries of extraterrestrial life. As we perfect our ways to detect these markers in a planet's atmosphere, scientists are eager to explore the nooks and crannies of this extraterrestrial object.